I am so surprised by scrambled eggs. This is a Walter Lance Productions cartoon from 1939, and this is actually a Peterkin cartoon. I'd never heard of Peterkin, and the reason for that is because there is only one Peterkin cartoon. And I knew that before watching this, so I thought, well, there must be a reason why there was only one. And I wasn't expecting very much at all. But actually, I found it to be an absolute delight. The animation is adorable. The colour palette is gorgeous. Peterkin is a really likeable character and has got a really important lesson. And I kind of wish they did more. So I'll discuss what it's about very briefly. And then I'll mention some personal highlights. But I definitely recommend it. This was released, as I said, originally in 1939. It was directed by Alex Lovey and written by Elaine Pogany. And we have Peterkin, voiced by Marjorie Tarleton. We also have a voice cast including Sarah Berner, Victor McClyde and Danny Webb. And I'm not 100% sure what Peterkin is. IMDb says he is an elf. Wikipedia says that he is satyr-like and also calls him a fawn. And as far as I'm aware, fawns and satyrs are not completely the same thing. There is some conflicting information on Google. So if anybody knows exactly what it's meant to be, please feel free to tell me. And I apologize if I'm saying something that's not correct. But the point is, he is a fawn-like or satyr-like creature. And he is very mischievous. And I think the design of the character is wonderful. Because even though he's naughty, he's very, very cute. And he lives in this wood and we have all of these beautiful birds, loads of different species of birds, sitting on their eggs, getting ready to hatch their babies. And Peterkin decides to switch the eggs when the mothers are not looking. And with a spoiler warning, in a moment I'll talk about what happens and the message that comes about. But it's so beautifully animated. Even the eggs are brightly coloured and vivid. I love the designs of the birds. They just look so fantastic. And the design of the wood, the plants, the trees, the shrubbery, everything is so gorgeous visually. It is an absolute delight. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And I found it to be quite funny as well with what happens in the end because I wasn't sure where it was going. And the direction it took, I was pretty pleased with. So as I said, when I realised there was just one Peterkin cartoon, I wasn't expecting very much. I kind of assumed they'd done one, it didn't work they moved on. But personally, I think they could have done a whole series with this. Maybe they'd planned to, maybe they couldn't for whatever reason. If anybody, again, has more information, please feel free uh, to let me know. But I, I rather enjoyed it and I think it's definitely worth checking out. So I will now discuss what happens at the end and what does happen is all of these little baby birds hatch and their parents are not getting Parent of the Year awards because they take one look at their birds, realise they look nothing like them, and all of the mama birds and all of the papa birds all fly away. They abandon their children because they look different. That is disgusting. That's not the message. The message is not love your children despite what they look like. That could have been a good message, but it was important, at least important to me, that Peter Ken learned his lesson because what he did was wrong. And he does, because all of the baby birds have no parents. So who's going to feed them? Well, Peterkin is. And the birds are very demanding, and he's rushing back and forth to get the worms. And he ultimately realises that there's only one thing he can do to resolve this problem, and that's to go to find the parents, say he's sorry, and confess to what he did. And that's what he does. And I think that that's a brilliant lesson. You do something wrong, there will be consequences of your actions. Own up and apologise. That is the only way to fix the problem. I thought it was a beautiful message. So, really likeable protagonist, despite his bad behaviour. Beautifully animated. And a really solid message. Scrambled eggs is not at all what I was expecting. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it and absolutely recommend it.